Hi guys, Johan here from my training team and in this video I will show you how to create a folder for your point-to-point -point or even your point-to-multipoint links, how to add different locations, how to create a path and also view the elevation profile and export as a KMZ file. So as part of our value added service offering, we assist with pre-sale solution planning. Uh, we're based on the information from your game's KMZ file. We can then plan a solution that will best suit your needs and requirements. The reason for this video is to serve as a quick guide on how to generate a KMZ file to send to our solutions planning team. So let's get into it. First, you will launch Google Earth Pro, which is the latest version for Mac OS. And you can also use this on Windows. So to create a folder, you can either right click or use control click uh, on Mac and rename your folder. Under my places, um, I will go control plus click and add a folder. So this folder name, I would make it point to point link, uh, for example, Centurion, and then simply click on OK. To add locations, you can either uh, zoom in and drop a pin or you can just search for the actual address of uh, your first location so in this example let's say 69 oak avenue high felt centurion and then click on search okay so to add a pin i would click on the add pin you can also change the name of this specific location. So let's make this 69 uh, Oak Avenue. Uh, and I want to make this my access point. And then I can also move around the pin location to more or less where the radio will be installed and then just simply click on OK. So Based on this map, I can also just simply click on uh, add pin and drag my pin to where it needs to be or I can simply just then in the same search bar at the top type in the second address and click on search. So in this case, I want to take it to 68 Oak Avenue High Falls Centurion. And again, I will just click on add a pin location or add a place mark, change the name to 68 Oak Avenue. And this is for my station. Again, I just want to drag the pin to more or less where the radio will be installed and click on OK. So as you can see under my places, uh, the folder has been created as point to point underscore link centurion. I've added my two locations, which is 68 and 69 Oak Avenue. The next step that I want to do is I want to create a path between my two connected locations. And to do that here at the top, it says uh, click on add path. The path name I want to change to point to point uh, link. And before you click OK, just select the two locations of where you will have uh, your point to point link. So you will see that it automatically draws or creates a path between your two, let's say, sites or radios in this case. Then I can simply just click on OK. To view the elevation profile, again, you will either use right click or just control and click and select show elevation profile. So with elevation profile, this shows you more or less the topography, if there will be any obstructions between your link, and what is the elevation profile uh, throughout the entire link. And the next step is we want to save this as a KMZ file. So to save this as a KMZ file, again, you would either right click or just control and click and select save place as. And in this case, I will say point to point link centurion and make sure that it is a KMZ file. The different option is KML, but in this case, please make sure that it stays a KMZ file. Then all you do is you simply click on save. I hope that this helps showing you in how to create a KMZ file for your different locations. Click the like and subscribe to keep up to date with any new videos uploaded to our channel or simply get in touch with us for any further assistance or details. Thank you.